Welcome to the Veritas Resiliency Platform video on how to evacuate your assets using the Resiliency Platform console. This video explains an evacuation plan and how to generate a plan. After generating a plan, which is a one-time activity, you can perform various operations such as rehearse evacuation, cleanup evacuation rehearsal, and evacuate. An evacuation plan helps you evacuate all the assets from your production data center to the recovery data center with a single click operation. A plan can be created using VBS and resiliency groups or using only resiliency groups. The plan should have a template which defines the sequence in which the VBS should migrate from the production data center to the recovery data center. The sequencing of resiliency groups is done by resiliency platform. You need Manage Evacuation Plan's permission to create and execute a plan. In this video, we will demonstrate these operations. Let's generate an evacuation plan. In this operation, you can define the sequence in which the VBS and resiliency groups should be migrated to the recovery data center. An evacuation plan can be generated only once. If you make any changes, such as adding, modifying, or deleting VBS or resiliency group, an alert is displayed to regenerate the plan. Similarly, an alert is generated if you have added resiliency groups and configured them for disaster recovery, or you have configured existing resiliency groups for disaster recovery. No action is required if resiliency groups which are not configured for disaster recovery are added, modified, or deleted. Let's start with the actual demo. Log in to the console using administrator credentials. On the home page, click Assets. On the Resiliency Groups tab, ensure that the status and the state of the resiliency groups configured for the plan is normal and online. Similarly, the status and the state of the VBSs configured for the plan should be normal and online. Now navigate to the Automation Plans and select Evacuation Plans. Generate a plan. Remember, this is a one-time activity. Click on the VBS. Here you can create another priority group by clicking on the Change Priority button. Now click on the RGs. Proceed to generate the plan. The evacuation plan is generated. Now that we have generated a plan, Let's start the Rehearse Evacuation operation. This operation lets you verify whether all your assets can evacuate to the recovery data center. It is the exact replica of evacuation. On Evacuation Plans, click on the vertical ellipsis and select Rehearse Evacuation. Click on the link to view the activity. You can see that the rehearse evacuation process has started. This process is executed in the sequence in which the VBSs are defined. The rehearse evacuation process is complete. After the rehearse evacuation is complete, a cleanup is required to clean all the temporary disks which are created in the process. To do this, perform the cleanup evacuation rehearsal option. On Evacuation Plans, click on the vertical ellipsis and select Cleanup Evacuation Rehearsal. 
you can see that the cleanup rehearsal evacuation process has started. The cleanup operation is complete. After the cleanup is done and all the assets are in online and normal state, we will start the evacuation operation. Using Veritas Resiliency Platform, you can evacuate your assets to Amazon Web Services, to Microsoft Azure, to vCloud Director, or to your on-premises data centers. For this video, we have six virtual machines which will be evacuated to Microsoft Azure. This is the VMware vCenter where all our six virtual machines are created. Click Evacuate. The evacuation operation is started. Here you can see the Azure portal and some part of VMware vCenter. Slowly, the virtual machines of vCenter will shut down and the disks will get created on Azure as highlighted. This completes the evacuation operation. Even if any of your assets are down, the operation will succeed and the assets will be evacuated. You can see that all six virtual machines, named DemoHost 1 to DemoHost 6, are evacuated to Azure and are not present on vCenter. In the next video, we'll see how to regenerate the plan if any changes are made to the plan. For more details on evacuation plan, refer to the documentation on sort. Thank you.